Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for joining the first time ever Council on Aging Zoom meeting. We appreciate your patience with any of the glitches that we have and we may run into with this technology. We'd start with roll call. I am here. Tom is here. Yep. Laura. Yes. Barbara. Here. And Linda. We can't hear her though. Right. <laughs> Next on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. We all have received the minutes from March 11th, which it's been a while. The minutes have been presented and reviewed. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, motion to approve. Do I have a second? A second. Is there any discussion? All those nope. in favor? Okay, you now have to do a roll call vote because you're meeting remotely. So each person must individually vote now. Do we just say I agree? No, you have to call each name and then yes or no. Okay, Tom? Yes. Laura? Yes. Bob, does Barbara and Linda vote nope. too? No, nope, just the two of them? Okay. You would announce your vote. So you would have to say right. yes. Yeah. And I say yes. And then any other votes you take tonight have to be done that same way. Okay. So any is there anyone opposed? No. Nope. No one's abstaining. So thank you. The motion passes. Um, we have the director's port report. Does Barbara have that? She does. Okay. Um, all of the COA activities, trips, and services came to a standstill in March when the building was closed to the public due to the coronavirus pandemic. Barbara and Linda have worked in the building every day, and Patty, Elaine, and Terry have been working from home. Patty is on vacation until June 30th, and I expect all staff to return to the building for work on or before July 1st. No definitive information about when the senior center can open to the public has been announced as of this date. Uh, during the pandemic, we have maintained the following services during the stay at home order. Uh, we've maintained Mondays around town bus to pharmacies, banks and family dollar only. We have continued with Tuesdays food shopping. And since we have limited the participants on, participants on our bus to four, we have added a second food shopping run on Tuesdays. Uh, daily Meals on Wheels deliveries have also taken place without interruption during the shutdown. And we do require that passengers and our driver wear masks when on the bus. Uh, we've also managed to offer the brown bag program each month during the shutdown. The Whitman Food Pantry has graciously agreed to take our delivery from the Boston Food Bank and have allowed brown bag recipients to pick up their bags at the food pantry. Uh, we're very grateful to them for taking on this important program until we're able to open again. As the state slowly opens, we are receiving more calls each day for dial -a -bat transportation to doctor's appointments and requests for hairdresser, podiatrist, and passport appointments. Uh, as an update on the senior property tax abatement program, uh, because of the pandemic and closing of town schools buildings, placements were cut short and few participants were able to complete their 100 hours in FY 2020. The Board of Selectmen voted that given the circumstances, all participants would be given credit for 100 hours. Uh, after a recent discussion with the Board of Selectmen on whether the program should be put on hiatus <laughs> for FY 2021, um, it was determined that this program will in fact go forward for next year. Uh, I'm in the process of contacting the 39 FY 2020 participants to explain that there is no guarantee on when or if a placement will be available for them given the COVID-19 issue. Those that are still interested in applying will be mailed an application and asked to mail it back. And since the face-to-face -face interview and paperwork required cannot be done during this social distancing period, that will be done by appointment when the building is open to the public. 
um, a COA board update. Unfortunately, Jill Getchell resigned from the board in March. Uh, we sincerely thank her for her dedication to the COA. And fortunately, Denise Bagley has agreed to accept the chair position that was vacated by Jill. Thank you, Denise. Um, <clears throat> moving on to building and property maintenance. Uh, the fence at the rear property line, nothing new to report. I thought that we would have had the remainder of the fence installed by now, but that's not the case. I am pleased to finally announce that the shed and benches that were Stevie Bagley's Eagle Scout project have been moved just this morning from the pickleball courts behind the police station to our newly sodded backyard. Uh, this creates a welcoming outdoor space for our seniors and it gives us the, the ability to reintroduce cornhole toss, lawn bocce, and any other activity. Um, it provides for socialization outside when the time comes. And I thank the DBW for getting this project done. Uh, bus maintenance. We have been rotating the use of our buses on Mondays and Tuesdays so that neither of them sits for too long. The older bus is currently at bat for an oil change. Um, programs and trips. Unfortunately, nothing new to report other than we're very anxious to get going again. And that concludes my director's report. Thank you. Do we have a motion to approve the director's report? Tom? Yes, motion to approve. Laura? Second. Is there any further discussion? Nope. I'm not hearing any, so all those in favor? Roll call. Yes. Oh, this is when we do the roll call, sorry. Tom? <laughs> yes. Laura? Yes. Uh, yes, so thank you, the motion passes. Uh, we have the financial report for March 2020. It's been presented and reviewed. Oh, sorry, Barbara has to do the financial report. <laughs> um, nothing new, same old, same old. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Do I have a motion to approve the financial report? So moved. Do I have a second? Okay. Is there any discussion? Nope. Tom, do you approve? Yes. Laura? Yes. So all those in favor? Yes. No one's abstaining. The motion passes. The next item on the agenda is the committee reports. Do we have any, Barbara? We do. Um, OCES, which is Old Colony Elder Services, they have continued with their monthly meetings taking place by Zoom. Um, Old Colony has done a fantastic job with making sure that the meals have been delivered to us without interruption. Um, and I will be attending their last fiscal year meeting tomorrow by Zoom. On Friends of the Whitman Seniors, we have not heard from that group since September of 2019. And then on self-help, uh, John Noska has agreed to continue with taking appointments for first-time applicants and recertifications when the season begins in the fall as his senior property tax abatement program placement. And that's it for my committee reports. Okay. Do we have any old business? I do not. Okay. Moving on to new business. As we all know, Barbara will be retiring in July and it is the responsibility of this board to interview candidates and appoint a new COA director. Today, we are meeting with candidate Mary Holland. The board members have had an opportunity to review her resume and application and are pleased to welcome her here today. Mary, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and what interests you about being having the COA position? First of all, hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi, yes. Mary. <laughs> so I apologize for calling this in, but um, I would think Frank might be able to attest. I've been on some other Zoom meetings, and for whatever reason, I seem to have a lot of um, issues when my picture freezes and people can't hear me. So I'm calling because I figured that would be best that you could actually hear me. So I apologize again for the call in. No problem. So um, a little bit about myself. 
I am Mary Holland. Um, I'm married. I have two great kids. I have a basset hound named Beau Regard. Um, I have a business administration degree, and I've worked in the financial industry. Uh, I decided to stay home to raise my kids when I was a little younger. <laughs> um, I ran a daycare while my kids were young. My kids got older. My husband had a business. I actually ran office uh, and uh, oversaw all the office, you know, bookkeeping, accounting, taxes, payroll. I did all that for him. Um, while that was all going on, I actually started working. Someone approached me and asked me if I'd be interested in working as the planning board secretary for the town. So that was 18 years ago. I started that in 2002. And I've been doing that still, actually, till this day, I'm still the planning board secretary. Um, from that position, I actually um, was hired to work in the clerk's office. So I started there eight years ago. And then I was promoted in the clerk's office to the assistant town clerk, which I am currently. So I'm still there. Um, and this just came, you know, to my attention recently. I'm interested in the position because I love working with the residents of Whitman. Um, that's like my favorite part of my job is, is interacting with everyone. I love helping people. I believe that my years of experience of working in the town, uh, I've acquired a lot of knowledge on how municipalities actually operate, which obviously before this I did not have, but over the years I've definitely learned a lot about how the town runs and how everything interacts and works. Um, and I've developed a lot of working relationships with all the other town departments. So there's not anybody in town hall that I don't already have a, a relationship with and actually know them and um, what goes in other departments and how it all runs. So I just believe that my experience with the town and my business background, that um, I would be a great asset to the position. Thank you, Mary. Do any of the board members have any questions for Mary at this time? She sounds like a great fit, <laughs> but I don't have a question, at least right now. I just have one question, even though Mary pretty much answered all of it. But uh, Mary, why are you interested in this position specifically? Um, I guess I, I did kind of touch on that. But again, um, I, w I can honestly say, like, I, moving over to the Council on Aging wasn't something that I ever um, – really had planned on my record, but when I listened or when I, excuse me, when I heard that Barbara was retiring and I started thinking about it, me as a person, that's, I guess, my, what I would say one of my strengths is in life is that I'm a very positive, upbeat people person. Um, and I think I can bring a lot to the job and to the senior center, like my enthusiasm, so forth, the seniors. I just think that, um, you know, seniors could, could use that in their lives. The, the seniors that I work with through the elections, which I've worked with quite a few of them, I love working with them. I think they love the, again, my personality and how I am with them. Um, and like I'm ready for a new challenge. I think that I'm ready to move on from where I am and, and, and learn some more about another aspect of the town, I guess. And I would love the opportunity to do so. Well, very good. And I agree you do have it. Very nice personality. Yep, <laughs> I believe, like part. I said, I even though you guys can't see me, I'm pretty sure I've met you all at the counter at some point. <laughs> yes, yeah. All right, thanks, Mary. For that. Thank you. Laura, do you have any questions? No, you're all set. No, as Tom asked the question, I thought of that after he just answered. I mean, after she um, answered that question. So, okay. That was a that was a that was the question. <laughs> As Barbara has mentioned in the past, the more difficult part of the director position is becoming knowledgeable about the policies and procedures unique to the town, how each department functions relative to the COA, as well as processing of documentation. Barbara has also noted that the Council of Aging Network is a very close knit group of resources where directors are more than willing to share their best practices and experiences with all who are interested. The Executive Officer of Elder Affairs and the Massachusetts Councils on Aging are also a wealth of knowledge and experience. Mary, do you have any questions for the board or anything else that you would like to add? Um, I did have a question. Um, Barbara, it, it, do you have a contract? Um, I know that you're not um, 
you know, you, you uh, right now I currently fall under um, union and hourly and so forth. Oh, okay. uh, and I know a lot of department heads do have contracts. So just curious how that works. I do not have a contract. Uh, the position is appointed for three years uh, by okay. the board. Okay. And um, as far as vacation time, because, again, I know mine is based off of currently uh, my years of employment and so forth, but I'm under a different um, group. Um, so I was just curious what that is for you. Um, I probably would need to defer to Frank after I get some information on that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how a transition with the benefits work with a transition, but I can certainly get that information. As an employee okay. of the town, you would be subject to the personnel policies and procedures. So the, uh, your, your length of employment uh, at the town is what will determine the uh, vacation allowance uh, that you would be entitled to. And again, that's okay. from the personnel policies and procedures, which is a little different than the collective bargaining process. Although I expect at some point in time, they'll all mirror one another. Okay, so based on how long I've been with the town, but it's, it's different than what I'm under currently, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So, again, I guess I'm just wondering, like, as far as where I'm at now, like, would it go backwards or would it go forward or be the same or we have no idea? You don't know what the, the um, current... Well, you're, you'll be in a different group, first of all, because the yep. Council on Aging um, is a five-day-a-week position, yep. whereas the Town Hall... Union personnel work four days. Correct. Uh, the allowances are based, again, on, I don't have the policy in front of me, but it's certainly okay. available to review. I, I don't expect that you'll lose anything. Okay. Transition. Okay. All right. I think that's it. That, would just, that, that was just a question I had. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Based on Mary's impressive credentials and vast town experience, I believe she would be an ideal Council Aging Director. And I will entertain a motion to appoint her to the COA Director position. So moved. Do I have a second? Laura, second, second it. Is there any further discussions? Denise, nope. I believe. Okay, the motion should uh, read that uh, th there is a motion to offer the position of Council on Aging Director to Mary, uh, subject to satisfactory negotiations with the uh, Council on Aging Board as to benefits and compensation, and subject to which should not be much of a challenge, a background um, verification and uh, current um, criminal offender records history check. Those things are all essential to completing the appointment process. I, I think at this time, it, it might be worthwhile to note that the position has been advertised uh, both in the paper and on uh, our network that um, we have not had a groundswell of responses to the, uh, and in point of fact, uh, Mary is the only candidate that has come forward. It is the board's option, the committee's option to move forward or if the committee chooses, to expand the search, but that's a decision you folks should make, and it should be part of what your discussion is right now. And mm -hmm. vote again would be a motion to open subject to successful negotiation on salary and benefits. Okay, but that's the personal side of me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I motion to offer her the position. 
based on a subject to satisfactory comment between them with benefits and compensation and our background check and everything else Frank said. <laughs> um, so I offer position motion to do that. What about you, Tom? Yep. So I moved on that. I, I have her application here and it looks great. So yeah, it looks fabulous. So, so moved. So moved. So it appears unanimous. So I, I guess the next question you should probably raise is, Mary, when will you be available to begin your uh, position if it's uh, offered and accepted? Uh, I would be available July 6th. July 6th and July 10th. Okay. So... We just wait now, but well, officially. What we'll it. do <laughs> is I'll I'll prepare uh, I'll prepare the offer letter, and we'll talk about what should be contained in that offer letter. That's an um, off meeting conversation, um, and then at your next meeting, you'll be able to announce that uh, you've completed the process and. Um, what the terms and conditions of that employment. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else that anyone wants to discuss in the other new business? All right, um, our next. Nope. Paul might have something. No, I'm good. I was just seeing what our next meeting was, but that's July 8th, so that'll be in yep, time, I would think. Our next scheduled meeting is Wednesday, July 8th at 9 a.m. Will that be at the Senior Center? Or Probably so not. No? Oh, really? Okay. We have to do this again? <laughs> <laughs> my, my computer let me down. That's why I was late getting lost. Okay. <laughs> We look forward to being able to do this in person again. <laughs> well, yeah. Believe me, we all do. This, is, <laughs> this has been a, a really unique experience and one I hope I never have to live through again. <laughs> I'm with you there. Yep. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Yeah, first, just on a personal note, uh, Barbara, I'd like to thank you for all you've done. I say you've been work together with the fire department really well and I really appreciate it. We're gonna miss you. Well thanks Tom. And, and you guys welcome. have been and great to me and to our people and I will miss that relationship. Thank you. Yep. Yes. You're when I started it when I started I wasn't one of your people now I am <laughs> 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 gotta have people. <laughs> so I appreciate appreciate you looking out for me too. But, yeah. thanks. <laughs> thanks Tom. Yeah most you luck. Motion to adjourn. I so move. Okay, Laura. I second it. And Barbara, I also wish you the best. You know, retirement is the best. It really is the best. Although so it hurts a little bit, nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be here for the next meeting too on July eighth. Yeah. Thank you. That's true. I know. Okay. So thank you all. Thank you, Barbara. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. All right, nice Zoom in with you guys. Take care. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Good job, Denise. Thank you. <laughs>